Hey, it's Mostly Casual Commander, where we try to keep our games fun without sacrificing our ability to win. I'm BK, and today's commanders are all from Streets of New Capenna. We have Rafin Scheming Seer, Zayatora the Incinerator, Lord Xander the Collector, and Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the content you've been enjoying, and consider supporting us on Patreon, link in the description. So I kick us off with a Marsh Flats and crack that to find a Hollowed Fountain, entering the battlefield tapped. Kovacs plays a Forest, and onto Busterkins who plays a Polluted Delta, and he'll sack that to grab a land. I'm gonna find that new Xanderland and pass. So on to Kyle's turn, he will play a Misty Rainforest. He'll pay the one life to sacrifice that, and then he'll fetch up a Stomping Ground. He'll have that enter the battlefield untapped, taking two more life, and shortcuts a Find Horn Elves. I feel so lonely, I'm the only one that didn't shuffle my deck. <laughs> So, on to my turn two. I draw and play a Swamp as my land for turn, and then I follow that up by casting an Azorius Signet. Over to Kovacs' turn, he draws and drops a Mountain as his land for turn, follows that up with Deathcap Cultivator, a Mana Dork that could eventually get Death Touch by way of Delirium. Then Busterkins drops Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, making all lands Swamps in addition to their types. My Swamp. Tap for two Swamps then. No, but it does tap for either Swamp or Swamp. Oh! <laughs> Onto Kyle's turn, he plays a Plains as his land, and then follows that up by casting Tormenting Voice, discarding another card and allowing him to draw two cards. And with nothing better to do with his Monodork, he chips away at my life total before passing the turn. Onto my turn three, I play Deserted Beach as my land, and follow that up by casting Adeline Resplendent Cathar, hoping to make a whole bunch of 1 1 human creature tokens. Onto Kovacs' turn, he plays a Forest as his land. And he follows that up by casting Torian Mauler, a creature that'll get plus one plus one counters every time his opponents cast spells. On to Busterkin's turn, he casts his second fast boots of the game with Swift Foot Boots. Over to Kyle, he plays Cinderglade as his land, unfortunately it enters tapped. He path to exiles my Adeline, which triggers Torian Mauler and makes me very sad. Then he chips away at Busterkin's life total with his Findhorn Elves. I grab a Swamp from Path to Exile and go to my turn four. Watery Grave will enter the battlefield tapped, and with a non-zero sum of suspicion, I pass the turn over to Kovacs. He plays a Soul Ring, getting that sweet, sweet ramp before attacking Kyle with his Torian Mauler, dropping him to 33. On Busterkin's turn, he plays a Dockside Extortionist, triggering Torian Mauler and netting him two treasures. He passes to Kyle, who plays Parallel Lives, and I say absolutely not with the Dovin's Veto. Sorry, Kyle. That was not going to be good for anybody. Well, maybe you, but not for the rest of us. I play a Sunken Hollow and follow that up with a Bone Miser, hoping to get some 2-2 zombies, some card draw, and some mana. On the Kovacs' turn, he casts a Cultivate, and with that he will go find two mountains. One will enter the battlefield tapped, and one will go to his hand. He then chips away at Busterkin's life total with his Torian Mauler, and Busterkin's plays a land on his turn. Trigger. Oh, no, no, no. That's, a, Sorry. that's a land. <laughs> Anytime anybody does anything, trigger. <laughs> Busterkins makes use of those treasures and casts Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. This will make a copy of Dockside Extortionist, and when that ETBs, it'll get him a few more treasures as well. He then equips his Lightning Greaves to Sakashima before passing the turn. Elvish Mystic hits the battlefield on Kyle's board. He says go. And I play my commander, Rafine, Scheming Seer, a flying Ward 1 creature that can enable a whole bunch of connive shenanigans. I move to combat at Kyle with Bone Miser. This will trigger Rafine, letting me draw a card. I discard a creature card. This gives a plus one counter on Bone Miser, as well as a 2 2 zombie off of Bone Miser's triggered ability. Onto Kovacs' turn, he plays another mountain as his land, and then using that, he casts his commander, Zayatora the Incinerator, allowing him to fling his creatures at any target and gaining him some treasure tokens. And then he attacks me with his Torian Mauler. End step, uh, I'm going to sacrifice my Torian Mauler, deal oh. 11 damage at you, PK. Oh, that's what that does, I forgot. No, we're yeah. Maybe I should have blocked his attack after all. So anyway, he gets some treasures, I dropped a 16, and we go to Busterkin's turn. He plays an island as his land. He then moves his Lightning Greaves to Dockside Extortionist so he can quasi-duplicate his Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, who is in fact a Dockside Extortionist, which gives him more treasures. And he has a backup of Sakashima's Legend Rule text. Then he plays his commander, Lord Xander the Collector, 
He targets Kovacs with his discard ability, who in response casts Fling on his commander Zyatora, which will deal enough damage to kill Lord Xander as well. Zyatora hits Kovacs' bin, and Busterkins targets me with Xander's death triggered ability, making me sack half my non-land permanents, chipping away at Kovacs' life total. And on to Kyle's turn, he casts a Tender Shoot Dryad. He's looking to clutter up his board with a bunch of Sapperling tokens that'll get bigger with the city's blessing. Command Tower enters the battlefield on my side of the board, and my creatures hit the red zone. Rafine will trigger with Connive 2, so I'll draw two cards. I will discard two, one of them being a creature, giving me a plus one counter on Bone Miser and a 2 2 zombie. Kovac's life total drops to 29, and onto his turn, he plays a Forgotten Ancient, which looks like a better Torian Mauler that could also move his plus one counters around. And with that on the board, he casts Raise Dead, returning Zytoria to his hand and triggering his better Torian Muller. He chips away at Busterkin's life total, dropping him to 36. And on to Busterkin's turn, another Sapperling hits Kyle's board. Soul Ring hits the battlefield for Busterkin's, triggering Forgotten Ancient. Then Busterkin's eyes Tender Shoot Dryad is a very juicy candidate for his Phantasmal Image. This will ascend check, and he'll get the city's blessing immediately. There's your tokens, buddy. He moves to end step, and me being the polite gentleman that I am, I cast Cyclonic Rift on Overload, clearing the board of everybody else's non-land permanents. They all really enjoyed that. They told me when we were done recording that it was their favorite part of the game. On to Kyle's turn, he casts Nature's Lore, allowing him to go find a forest. It'll enter the battlefield untapped, and then he shortcuts out an Elvish Mystic and find Horde Elves before passing the turn. Onto my turn, I move right into combat with three creatures, so Rafine will connive three. So I have Rafine target herself with her connive ability and discard two non-land cards as well as a land. So she should have an additional plus one plus one counter on her right now, and we'll catch that here in a moment. Kovacs drops to 19, and on his turn, he drops a Blood Crypt. He'll have it enter untapped, going to 17 life. Then he plays his Soul Ring again, followed by his Forgotten Ancient. And with that, he casts his Death Cap Cultivator, getting the plus one plus one back on his Forgotten Ancient. On to Busterkin's turn, he plays a Mountain as his land for turn, recasts his Soul Ring, he then recasts Phantasmal Image. This time it'll be copying Forgotten Ancient, and he'll get to take advantage of those sweet plus one plus one counters whenever a spell is cast. Sakashima of a Thousand Faces makes another copy of Forgotten Ancient, also triggering the existing Forgotten Ancients. Uh, Kodama's Reach? Trigger. 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 He gets a forest of planes, plays the plane for turn, then casts Feldar Retreat. Trigger. Trigger. I told the group there was no way I was going to overlay all those triggers like I normally do. I fierce guardianship. Trigger. Trigger. But mostly because I want Kyle to have zero fun. On my turn, I untap up, keep draw, and go right into combat. I connive four, targeting Rafine again. I discard two lands and two non lands, one of them being Sarah's emissary. And here's where we realize I made a mistake with the plus one counters, and we correct it. I then cast Animate Dead on the Sarah's emissary in my graveyard. When it enters the battlefield, I choose Creature as the card type, giving not only me, but the creatures I control protection from creatures. On Kovacs's upkeep, he moves all the plus one plus one counters from Forgotten Ancient to his Death Cap Cultivator. He casts his commander, Zyatora the incinerator and then moves right into end step throwing his death cap cultivator at kyle's face kovacs gets three treasures and says go to busterkins who plays a bloodstained mire as his land for turn he recasts dockside extortionist triggering all these forgotten agents and getting five treasures in the process he cracks his bloodstained mire taking one life and puts a steam vents untapped onto the battlefield for two more life he then recasts his commander, Lord Xander the Collector, and he has Kyle discard two cards with its triggered ability. He recasts his Lightning Greaves as well, and equips them for free on Lord Xander. He then moves to combat, dealing 9 points of damage to Kyle, and knocking him out of the game. And then onto my turn 10, I move right into combat, which I believe this deck wants to do immediately. I connive 6 on Rafine, I discard 6, 2 of them being non-lands, and unfortunately 4 of them are lands. So I get a 2-2, two, two, I get some plus 1 plus 1 counters, and I knock Kovacs out of the game while dealing some points of damage to Busterkins as well. I follow that up with a Fabled Passage, I pass the turn, I get a Plains with Fabled Passage, and Busterkins decides to player rewards terminate my Sarah's Emissary, which not only makes me sad, but also makes me legitimately concerned for his next play. But thankfully, for me, he moves his Lightning Greaves off of Xander onto his Forgotten Ancient so he could cast Rite of Replication. Oh, you don't have to. You have to exile Xander. You're a real jerk, you know that? Sorry, buddy, I had to jump on that opportunity. So Rite of Replication fizzles because Xander's no longer a legal target. 
And then Busterkins decides to leave his stuff on defense. On my turn, I cast Necromancy, bringing back my Sarah's Emissary naming creature. I move into combat. Rafine will trigger with Connive for six. And I'll get additional plus one, plus one counters, some zombies again. And after all is said and done, I deal enough points of damage to knock Busterkins out of the game, which I guess makes me the winner. Thank you guys for a good game featuring some of these cool new commanders. Tell us what you thought of the game in the comments. Let us know what you're excited about for Streets of New Capenna. And as always, thanks for watching.